This episode is filled with so much inspiration for you. They're easy, they're quick, and I know that you can do them. So let's get started. Today is all about crafting with tin cans. We know we have them at home, and although we often recycle them, today I am using them to grace some beautiful crafts. I'm gonna start by removing the excess paper and using some Goo Gone to remove the gooey, gluey parts. This took a little bit, I'm not gonna lie, but in the end, it was so worth it because every craft turned out beautifully. I'm gonna start with a larger one and a smaller one. I'm gonna give each two coats of Waverly Chalk Bin in the white. I am using the side to side motion to keep that same rounded look that each can has. Once that was painted, it was gorgeous. They already look so cute. I'm gonna drill a hole on the bottom of the smaller one using a drill and a drill bit that matches the size of a dowel that I'm gonna use here in a minute. The Dollar Tree stickers that we're gonna be using, these first ones are gorgeous. They have a rhinestone design and I love that they stuck so good to the surface of each can. All I did was place them on the top rim of the smaller ones, stuck them there, and then cut off the excess, and they stuck perfectly. I'm going to do the same thing to the larger one, except I'm going to do it on the top and the bottom. Look how beautiful these cans are already looking gorgeous all right so moving along i am going to take one of these foam balls from the dollar tree and i'm going to cut off about a third of it and i'm going to hot glue the larger one and the larger can and hot glue the smaller one and the smaller one this is so that when we place the dowel as well as florals they have something to stick on now we're going to move along to the dowel again these dowels i already had a hand i got it at walmart but i think you can find them at dollar tree these miter shears i get on amazon i'm just going to kind of eye out and measure where i need to cut and then just cut the dowel as needed i'm going to place the dowel right through the hole as well as the foam that we hot glued inside and then we're going to just place it inside the larger one making sure that the smaller can kind of lands in a tilt motion I want this to look like it's a little tilted, like it's falling off of the larger one. I'm going to add hot glue to the foam and the dowel just so that it sticks in place nicely. I'm going to add some of these black stones, the little tiny stones that I get on at Dollar Tree, actually. I'm just going to place them in each can. That way it's going to add some weight and it's not going to tilt over on me. And it's also just going to hold everything in place. And then I'm going to add some moss. This moss is from Dollar Tree. You can find them there year round. I'm just going to fill in the can so that it hides all that foam and stone. Now I'm going to start adding some floral. These are some faux boxwood that I get on Amazon. I'm going to add it to both the top and the bottom can, as well as some of these beautiful purple ones from Dollar Tree. And I'm just going to add here and there until I kind of see what I like. I want it to be full, but not overly full. And I think this one turned out absolutely stunning. I love, love, love the way this turned out. The brightness, the freshness, so beautiful. And we used cans. For the next can craft, I am going to take one of the larger ones and we are removing the bottom portion. So I'm just going to use my can opener and removing the bottom because we are going to create a pocket. Once I remove the bottom portion, I'm going to take my hammer and a piece of scrap wood and I'm just going to start hammering the bottom, making it flat. I'm going to hammer and hammer and flipping it over as needed until the entire bottom is completely flat. Now I did do a little bit here and there towards the top portion just to kind of make it a little bit more like a pocket and then on the very very top i'm just going to hammer it very slightly to make it oval instead of round and this is kind of what it should look like i'm going to take the waverly chalk paint in the ink and i'm going to give everything one coat and let it fully dry Now that it's dry, I'm going to take it outside and spray paint it just one pretty heavy coat of this clear top coat from Rust-Oleum. This is going to seal everything in because I am going to paint it and distress it and I want that black to be sealed. So here it is nice and dry. Now I'm going to give it two coats of Waverly Chalk Paint in the white. And this is what it should look like when everything's dry. I'm going to take this piece of rag and I'm going to start wet distressing it. Now it didn't work out as good as I thought. So I quickly just moved on to my sanding block. This is a flexible sanding block. And I'm just going to start sanding the ridges, the edges. 
I don't want a heavy dust dress, but I do want that black to show nicely. And it was also showing a little bit of the silver, which was very pretty. And now we're bringing in these rub-on transfers from Dollar Tree. You can find these in the crafting section all the time. This one says, uh, welcome home. And I'm just going to remove that part and then just place it right in the center of the tin can, which is now a pocket. I'm going to take my scraper and I'm just going to start rubbing it on until you kind of see where it's being lifted. Once everything was attached, I removed the plastic and it looks beautiful. I'm going to distress it very, very lightly just to kind of make it look all like matching. Then I'm going to take some of this black jute string that I get on Amazon and I am going to hot glue a little piece to the back and then just wrap it around until I have about maybe three quarters of an inch and then hot glue it in place. And my friends, don't forget that I have my Amazon store linked below in the description box. Anything that I buy on Amazon or that I say that I got on Amazon, like these crocodile, you can find there. So it is linked below. Check it out. All right. So using my crocodile, I'm just going to make two holes on each side of the pocket. And then I'm going to take these Dollar Tree chains. These are the basket hanging chains. I'm going to take one of the clips from another chain and we're just going to clip them to each hole. And that way it's going to have a nice chain to hang from. Beautiful. I'm going to add some of these pink peonies that I get on Amazon. I have been using them a lot because I'm a bit obsessed with them. I love peonies, especially this pink tone. But tell me this is not the most beautiful thing you've ever seen. I love it. We used a can and it cannot look any more beautiful. For the next can craft, I'm going to take another one of the larger ones and give it again two coats of Waverly Chalk Pin and the white beautiful and white and fresh now i'm going to take this ticking stripe from burlapfabric.com which by the way i have their website linked down below you can find all things burlap and more all right i'm going to hot glue a piece to go around it but i'm going to make sure that the little frayed ends overlap the edge so i want to see the frayed edge instead of the can edge then i'm just going to hot glue it in place then i'm going to take one of more of those stickers from dollar tree these have a such a beautiful spring farmhouse look. I love this little farmhouse truck, so I'm going to use it. And I'm going to place it in the front of the can. Now, here's the kicker because it's a 3D sticker. When I stick it on, because the can is round, the top portion pops up and it looks so 3D, so beautiful. I love the way it turned out. So now for the florals, I'm just going to add a whole bunch of different types of colors and uh, types of flowers that I have I'm a little box here of scrap pieces of floral. Just stick them in there. They're gonna match perfectly the design of the farmhouse truck in the front. And it is gorgeous. I tell you what, if I would have had more cans, I would have made maybe two or three more. These would look great together. For the next can craft, I wanna take one of the smaller ones and this piece of scrap paper that I had on hand. I'm going to kind of mark where I need to cut because I want to wrap the can around with it. So I'm just going to mark with a pencil and then cut with a rotary cutter. And then I'm going to wrap it around and Mod Podge it. I am going to cut off the excess by just folding it where I need to cut, make the cut, and then adding a lot of Mod Podge to the can and wrapping it all around. Friends, I would love to connect with you on Instagram, Facebook, and Pinterest. And I do have those links down below in the description box. When you are done watching, make sure you go and check them out. All right, so I'm just going to wrap the paper around. I'm just going to start pressing in, kind of like squeezing it. And then I'm just going to seal everything with more Mod Podge just on the edge there. Nice and tight. Then I'm just going to kind of, again, squeeze. If I get any wrinkles, I actually don't mind on this one because it just adds to the design. And you'll see what I'm talking about. I'm going to take my sanding block. I'm just going to sand off the edges for a smooth finish and it just kind of smooths out those edges. Now that I have everything in place, it's time to add some more character. I want this tin can to look like it's rusted. So I'm going to take some of this cinnamon that I had in my kitchen and Mod Podge. I'm going to mix it up just a little bit, making sure that I leave some cinnamon without the Mod Podge. I'm going to start brushing it on the top rim and the bottom rim.
I am then going to take some of the loose ground cinnamon and just start sprinkling it on top of the Mod Podge and just patting it in place. This is going to make it very textured, very thick. And then once I had it where I wanted it, then I'm just going to kind of smooth it out with my fingers and remove any excess. And that really looks like it's rusted. I love this little can. I love how it's looking. I'm going to add another one of these Revon transfers from Dollar Tree. This one says, Happiness is homemade and it has a beautiful brown tone that matches and complements the design of the can perfectly. Once again, I'm just going to remove it from the back, placing it in the center and using my scraper, I'm just going to start scraping it. And this time, just make sure that you scrape and lift the plastic as you go. Just makes it so much easier. And then it's just time to distress it a little bit. I'm going to take that soft uh, sanding block once again and just kind of lightly sand. They really distress really easily. So just be careful when you are distressing. And I'm just going to add one of these beige peonies. And I love this one. It's so small and cute. And it has all the rusticness and farmhouse look that I love. And I can choose my favorite maybe the first one i don't know i like the pocket too but let me know which one is your favorite down below and i have another video here for you to watch make sure you click on it have fun watching i'll see you later and have a blessed day bye